Hey everybody, this is Leo, your real estate advisor. And today I'm going to walk you through the home selling process and how to sell a home step by step. Let's get started. Step number one, you want to analyze the real estate market in your specific area. You want to take a look at the days on market, how long are homes taking to sell in that area? How many days are they spending on the market before they sell? You want to look at the months of inventory, how many months of inventory are on the market? The months of inventory is going to let you know whether you're in a buyer's market or a seller's market. Six months or more, this shows that you are in a buyer's market. Six months or less, this shows that you are in a seller's market. Six months is the equilibrium. In a buyer's market, uh, you would have to price the home a little, a little under the market value, depending on your strategy, to get maximum value. In a seller's market, you could price the home a little higher, and that tends to work. It just all depends on what's going on in the market, and if you're in a seller's market or a buyer's market. Also, too, you want to look at what other homes similar to yours have sold for in the last six months in your area. So if your home is say a four bed, three bath, and you have a pool and you're on a lake, you wanna look at other homes in your area that have sold in the last six months, four beds, three baths, pool, on a lake, see what they sold for. And you can price your home you know, accordingly, similar to what those homes have been priced for before they sold. Step two would be to market your home. Once you have already settled on a price, you know what price you want for your home, you know what you wanna sell it for, now you have to market the home to get that price. A few marketing strategies that I use would be to put the home on social media and run a social media campaign, put the home on YouTube, put the home on TV, put the home in magazines. Basically, the whole goal is to get as many eyes on this home as possible. Get this home in front of many different people. What I like to do is I like to go to the buyers. I want to go to the social media scrollers, the web surfers, the TV watchers, and the readers. When you go and you show the home to the whole entire market and you have more buyers, this is how you get a better price. It's like selling a watch or a car. If you're selling that watch or that car to an audience of 10 people, then that's the price is going to reflect that. If you show that watch or that car to an audience of say 1 million people, one watch or one car to 1 million people, then your price is going to reflect that. So the whole goal is to market the home to as many buyers as possible. Step three is to accept an offer. Let's say that you had a realtor market the home for you or you marketed the home on your own. You found a few buyers, you have a few offers. Now you have to accept the best offer. What makes an offer a good offer is as much money down as possible. So if it's conventional, if it's FHA, you want to look for as much money down as possible. Of course, if this is a cash offer, if they are paying the full price, the full amount, that's perfect. But if it's FHA, if it's conventional, look at how much that that person, that buyer is putting down. Also, call the lender and get that second confirmation from the lender. Make sure that uh, the buyer can close, make sure everything's okay. Also, too, have the buyer send the pre-approval with the offer. Something that's stronger than the pre-approval is a DU, which is a direct underwriting from the lender. The fourth phase in the process is the inspection period. We just talked about the contract, the offer. Within the offer, make sure that the inspection period is no longer than seven days for residential real estate. During the inspection period, the buyer's inspector is going to come to the house and inspect the house and make sure that the house is in good condition for that buyer. Usually, you know, nine times out of 10, that inspector is going to find something no matter what state the home is in. So don't be surprised when you get the inspection report back. Fifth and down the line, we have the appraisal process. So assuming the inspection went well, it is now time for the appraisal. Keep in mind, if the buyer is going to pay cash, typically there's no appraisal. But if the buyer is going to get a loan from the bank, then there's going to be an appraisal. The bank is going to send an appraiser to the property to assess the value so the bank knows up to how much of a loan they're going to give that buyer. This is why it's very important to price the home accordingly and price the home right. Because if you price the home too far ahead of the market value, the appraiser's value is going to be less and now you're going to have to have a difficult conversation with your buyer or there's going to be some renegotiations, some back and forth. 
that's why it's important to do that market analysis in the beginning to find the right price for the home. So that market analysis is what that appraiser is going to do and they're going to come and take a look at the home and assess the value. Step six is the walk through. The walkthrough is basically when the buyer and the buyer's realtor come to the home, they walk through the home and they make sure that the home is exactly how they remember the home and how they last saw it. Lastly, we have the closing. So step seven, the final step is the closing. After you've gone through all of the other steps, you finally get to go to the title company's office, or maybe you could sign remotely and not have to go to the office, but you basically sign the documents and the paperwork legally documenting the legal sale of the home. And then you get to collect your check that day or the day after and you're done. The sales process can be time consuming and stressful, especially if you have a job business or anything else that requires your time. This is where a good realtor comes in to lift the weight off of your shoulder. My unique marketing style and real estate knowledge has allowed me to sell multiple homes for over the list price. I just helped two clients last month to each receive $50,000 over the ask price for the sale of their home. And one of those homes sold in just three days. If you are considering selling your home and want a custom tailored marketing strategy to get a great price for the sale of your home. My contact info is below. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, drink more water, eat more veggies, and I'll catch you next time.